Hey guys, I'm coming to you from my room in my wife beater. So there's this girl on YouTube. I'm pretty sure you know her. If you don't, check her out. Um, her name is Lauren and her username is Lauren is okay. And I absolutely like adore her. I adore her personality and her videos and everything like that. Like I love her. Please don't tell her how much of a stalker I am. I would appreciate that. So she did this one look before with her bad girl sleek palette because she owns one too i i think i used the same colors as she did um i don't know because i didn't rewatch the video anytime soon so this is from memory ow so i like badly badly wanted to recreate the look and i just haven't done it so i'm doing it now yeah, this look totally kicks ass and i love it so much so i had to recreate it oh yeah just an FYI, my eye kind of gets pink during the video, and I don't really realize it until like, I don't know, the middle of the video, so keep that in mind. Hopefully it doesn't scare all the little ones. The original video will be linked down below, along with other stuff. My nail color will be down there too, bra size will be down there, yeah, my shoe size, everything. Whatever, whatever, everything for you guys. Okay. Just blending out the milk pencil that I just applied to my lid, and I'm gonna bl um like blend it all all the way up to my brow bone. Palette from Sleek Makeup, and so we're gonna start off with this frosty-ish green color right there, and I'm going to apply that. Um, right in the middle of my eye and I'm just tapping it so I don't have that much fallout and just keep building it take the color right next to it which is a darker green color that one and I'm gonna apply that right on the outer edge these two greens are pretty much the same color the ones down here at the bottom mm. so I'm just gonna kind of mix them a little bit and um, I'm going to pack them on the outer edge um, with this contour brush by elf so I'm just gonna go ahead and first, I'm just going to um, punch it on. I don't know. Matte black color right there. And actually deepen this color up right there on the outer edge a bit. Then I'm going to take a blending brush. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the greens again, and then I am going to blend that into the crease. And this color is going to go up to like probably the middle of the eye. The Storm palette. I'm just going to grab this really light, light brown color right there. And I cleaned off my crease brush and I'm going to dip that in there. Take a little bit on there. And then I'm going to use this to blend out the outer edge of that dark green and black that I just placed into my crease. And then this color can actually go in more towards the inner corner of your eye. Just a little bit, just to tie everything together. Take it softly around the crease color and maybe a little bit underneath just to blend that underneath part. I'm going to add the inner corner highlight with um, this frosty white color. Super frosty white. I love it. I love it. I love it. It reminds me of like snow and Christmas. And just highlight the inner part of your eye so just the dark green 
basically. And a little bit of the black will just kind of be pushed onto the lower lash line. I've applied my Prestige White Liner Eyeliner, and it's like four dollars at any drugstore. Um, and then I applied some liquid liner on top. I didn't really wing it out because you know I didn't want to. And then this is the Urban Decay Lash Lash Mascara, which the wand looks like that. See that? Like a um, peanut, long peanut or something. But um, I really like this mascara. It's a growth serum infused conditioning mascara, so it's good for your lashes too. And I'm just going to highlight my brow bone with some NYX milk a bit. And then you can blend this out with your finger or take a synthetic brush, like a stiff one like this. And then go ahead and blend it. So, um, I'm not really wearing foundation, I'm just wearing um, some Stay Matte Pressed Powder by Rimmel, and it's just a translucent powder, it's actually called Transparent Number 001 because I'm like a ghost, and it just kind of just mattifies my face. Um, and as uh, for concealer, I'm using my e.l.f. Complete Coverage Concealer Palette thing. And as you can see, I use a lot of it. I usually only use these during my tutorials. Not that it's not that, not that it's bad, but it's just not the best concealer that I've used. I scratched my neck. My skin is like really sensitive, so if I like scratch it just a tiny bit, it looks like a bear clawed me or something. So yeah all right so for cheeks we're going to use a blush and which blush oh okay um for cheeks i'm going to use a blush from my elf uh palette i don't know what it's called but it's this i'll put a link to where you can get it on the elf website because it's not like with the regular stuff you have to kind of dig through the website to find it so i'm going to use this really light pink blush right there it's a very very light baby pink blush. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I completely have washed all my brushes and they're drying right now and I have no blush brush. Good job, Steph. Good job. Um, what do you use? Oh, I know what I'll use. going to use this Revlon Sky Pink Matte Lipstick number 012. Um, can you see that? No? Okay. Um, very, very light pink. And let's place this onto our lips. So this lipstick on its own is really drying and it looks really weird. So I am going to sheer it out a bit and um, apply a gloss on top. It is going to be my Color Rich Le Gloss by L'Oreal in Baby Blossom, number 151. At least that comes out. Oh, it smells so good. This is the entire look. This is my hood rat look. I'm just kidding. It's the bad girl look, yeah. If you ever order Sleek, make sure that you order this one because it's really, really cool, especially if you like smoky eyes. Hey, my eyes getting less pink. Woo! I really, really like the lip combo nation, but I love this eye look. 
Mm -hmm. All props go to Lauren from Lauren is Okay on YouTube. Her link will be down below because I heart her so much. Oh, it's getting really hot under these lamps. I'm thinking of getting rid of the angledness of my bob and just doing like a razor just all around bob. And I was thinking about getting bangs like actual bangs like across straight across bangs yeah i don't know but you tell me let me know what you think what i should do with my hair because i am not sure all right guys i'll talk to you in my next video bye